guys, what is going on? It's your boy James the Ace. Welcome back to another video today. We are talking about some pretty exciting things coming to the game that I feel like a lot of people should know. And I feel like a lot of people don't know. Like there's a lot of people that I've been talking to like in the arena and just like friends that kind of play Wiz that have no idea what is actually happening to the game. Like this whole dual stuff, dual school stuff, excuse me. Um, you know, the lore spell audit, right? That's been talked about for like, I think years now, finally happening. Fire is confirmed to be getting a spell audit buff. Storm is also getting buffed. You know, some YouTubers are talking to some devs. You know, they've been taking some feedback. There's a lot of stuff going on, right? But there's three major subjects that I got to talk about in this video. The first of which being the new school pip system that I will not be getting into super like, you know, nitty gritty details with. So please feel free to pause the video here and go and look at, you know, like Austin the Sauces video. There's a lot of people that have been making videos on this, but uh, effectively or essentially, right? Um, there's going to be a new shadow pip ish system, except it's not going to be, you know, some new pip. I'll actually display what it is on the screen. This is what Ratbeard teased on his own stream. Uh, when he was talking about it or finally revealed it to the public. But uh, there's, there's this new stat and it's called Arch Mastery. Um, and the TLDR is that we are going to be able to convert white and power pips into school power pips. I call them school shads, right? Because you're that's basically what uh, Lou and Devo are going to start popularizing. I guarantee you. they're going to be like, oh yeah, my gauge is full. I'm going to start myth shadding or ice shad and then new spell or whatever they're going to say. Uh, but I, I guarantee you people are going to start calling them school shads. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to get way ahead of the game. All right. But anyways, you're going to be able to school shad and this stat starts accumulating at level 50. So every league of PVP is going to be able to convert their pip when their gauge gets full into a school shad, which is crazy now we're not going to be able to use spells that require school shads i'm pretty sure that's only 160 and above with the new world but what this allows us to do is take off our mastery and use off school spells or utility with school shads so i can be a level 60 ice and by the way pretty much all of my examples are going to be low level pvp in this video uh because i am kind of regressing back to level 60 pvp because of certain things that i'll talk about later in this video uh but i i do believe the league is going to come back in a huge way and actually might overshadow um uh exalted and 50 like it did uh in 2017 2018 before deca completely took over um but school shads are going to allow you to use off school hits and utility without the use or the need of a mastery which is absolutely huge but it is absolutely scary as well because we don't know what this is going to mean. A, you know, a 60 ice could very well, you know, stop crutching on a life mastery and just start generating life pips once their gauge fills up, which is scary, right? Um, but we don't know how fast or how slow we're going to start generating pips based on the stats. Now, Rabbeer did confirm that the lower level leagues will not be getting um patches which is the next kind of like mini subject in this first main subject that i'm going to talk about and the patches are going to allow you to actually build stats on certain pieces of gear to other schools so as of right now 60 is the only league that does not have the dual school revamp well what i assume is going to happen in the future right because this is already going to be a thing at max uh gear is going to start getting um jewel slots and i think they call them pins not patches i think i just referred to them as patches but these pins are going to allow you to add off school damage and pierce with the offensive patches or pins um there are also utility pins which will allow you to gain accuracy and then there are defense pins which i think will just be like a ward um, or resist to certain schools right uh depending on your level and uh, what level pin you're equipping to that said gear. And I think Ratbeard also said uh, the pins will also come in the form of square and tier socket jewels slash pins as well. So you might be able to socket them to decks and uh, a Thames and stuff like that. Or not a Thames. A Thames don't have square sockets. I think it's like rings, right? Rings have square sockets. So you might be able to trick your ring out with some pierce to an off school. Um, and then obviously put pierce and damage and utility or whatever have you on your... Um, 
on select pieces of gear, right? I don't think it'll be like crafted pieces for low level. It might be like main, you know, main school gear. I don't know. We'll have to see what they do. But mastery pips, school shads are coming. And then um, the, the patches are coming. Primarily for higher level, if they are super broken, I don't know, we might not see them at lower level. We might just get the uh, dual school revamp if 60 does become more popular. Um, but that is absolutely happening uh, to level 160. But as far as Arch Mastery goes, the school shads, it starts at level 50. So all schools, uh, all leagues of PvP rather, will be generating, uh, I mean, like off school pips. And you can change what pip you generate before and mid match, which is absolutely crazy. So if I'm a Legend Storm doing PvP, I can start generating a life pip, right? But then let's say like, let's say like I don't have enough pips to use a high pip spell. I can switch it from generating life pips to a storm pip. And if that gauge is full, it'll generate a storm pip. So it'll convert one of my white pips to a storm pip, which is an equivalent of a power pip. You know, I, if you're still tracking here, right? Because I'm I'm explaining a lot and it is kind of mind boggling. But essentially, school pips are power pips. And then you can use a higher pip spell because you converted. It's kind of like reverse pip conserve in a way. I, I don't know. It's it's super weird. Uh, again, if uh, I, if I'm not explaining it well enough, please uh, go look at like Austin Asasi's video on it. Um, it is super crazy. It is super crazy and it's definitely going to change the meta and the game as we know it pretty much forever. Also, real quick, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, because a lot of the concern is on ice, pretty much playing other schools better than those schools can play themselves. Uh, Rabbeer did confirm that the amount of stats you will be able to get for certain schools depends on what school you picked at the beginning of the game. So if you're in ice, you will not be able to get the same uh, usage or stat, you know, stats granted from a patch or a pin um, than, say, a school that you know, doesn't have a ridiculous amount of health or ridiculous amount of defense. So if I'm a myth and I'm socketing fire damage or a fire pin on my gear, uh, I should, uh, by his explanation, receive more stats from that pin than an ice would because ice just have a lot of health and resist and they're just kind of broken in PVP right now. So at least they're kind of catching these problems before they arise and they also get to select what pieces of gear even have pin slots on them. So uh, for like high level example, Radbeard confirmed that, um level one 150 professor's horde gear the gear that basically allows you to like you know put on a mastery and completely be a different school because it gives like merciless stats uh will not have pins so you can't trick out merciless gear um from like packs with you know stats from other schools and stuff like that so they are covering their bases and trying to keep problems from arising before they actually become problems you know so uh, I will say good on them with that all right so the next huge subject that I have to talk about in this video is going to be the fact that it is confirmed that the lore spell audit is happening. Now, I assume because it is confirmed that it is happening when Test Realm does come to live, or we might see it in Test Realm, something, uh, but it is confirmed to be happening. Now, the specifics, right? Because obviously I'm being very vague by just saying it's confirmed. Uh, Artie, who is, I assume, the dev who is in charge of the lore spell audit, has confirmed that the, that the lore spells are getting quote unquote reviewed and revised. He also noted that the overused lore spells, AKA Headless Horseman, uh, may be tier five lore, but uh, absolutely Luminous Weaver, unfortunately for all of you lives that love spamming that, are probably on the chopping block, all right? I am super happy. I know a lot of you are salty, but I in turn am very happy that Headless is on the, is on the chopping block because Dude, dude, like you should not have that spell. It is the most powerful four pip non shad spell, and it's basically a shad. It is literally basically a four pip shad. But I'm not a dev. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's a hundred percent. But at the same time, I'm gonna tell you, like, like the whole square. All right, four four, four corners, ninety degree angles, whatever you want to say. Confirmed. It's it's gonna get nerfed. It is completely gonna get nerfed. All right, listen. It's 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 confirmed. The lore spells are getting audited, but it's also confirmed that if they're overused, they're getting nerfed. So, you know, one way or another, you kind of got to, you know, read between the lines. Headless is 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 getting the Ninja Piglets treatment. You know what I mean? There's no way it should be doing a whole rack. But um, I'm super happy about that. And there's also talks that Luminous might be on that list as well, because according to the Rosham Bizzlebop, the Rosham 
the, the Roshan bottle cap, the Roshan bow, uh, life should not be hitting and weaknessing. So we might see Loom, I, I don't know, hit and guiding light or I don't know, something hit and heal. I don't know what it's going to do. It might become completely worse. It might become better. I don't know really what's better than a hit and weakness. But um, yeah, L Loom might be getting might be getting the nerf. Um, tier 5 lore, I don't know, depending on what they read in the data, if it's completely overused, might be getting botched as well. But that's a great area because people paid for that spell. I know you can grind for it, but a lot of people paid for that spell, and it's $300. So I don't know if they're going to end up touching Tier 5 Lore Master, but um, that is a very popular spell, especially at max PvP right now. But um, they also confirmed that the underused or not so useful lore spells are getting audited. So Handsome Fomori, Catalan, Keeper of the Flame, um, Fire is also confirmed to be getting buffed with Storm. Actually, Artie confirmed uh, uh, like two days ago that the fire spell audit is done. Because if you haven't been keeping up to date, fire sucks in pretty much every league, especially the lower level leagues. Fire cannot compete, right? So Artie confirmed that, and, and Artie is a dev, by the way, that the fire spell audit is completed and he is now working on Storm. So Storm will also be receiving a buff. And I know Storm is super cracked in leagues like Exalted because of the overarching you know, problem with Pierce. But I also kind of want to slide in here that the devs may or may not, you know, may, may or may not be looking at Pierce. I think that's what the verb, the like verbiage was. They're looking at trying to see what they can do to Pierce. So uh, Storm might not be, you know, super cracked like it is right now. Um, in the future all right I, I can't confirm that i'm not a dev so take everything i'm saying you know with a, a whiz tube or grain of salt you know what i mean but um anyways storm buffed fire absolutely buffed confirmed to have already been buffed so whatever they did it's already done and it's in uh the system when uh eventually the test realm does uh you know become public so we will get to see that and the lore spell audit is also confirmed so you know, what What we can basically conclude from that is Headless nerfed, Lumi maybe nerfed, maybe Tier 5 lore, but Catalan, Handsome for Mori, Keeper of the Flame, Goat Monk, I forgot to say that as well. Uh, we'll have to see what they do with these spells because they're completely just not seen in PvP at all. And their lore spells, they should be good to some extent, right? We'll have to see. All right, and then the third and final thing that I do want to talk about is the fact that I have been reached out to, like... Pretty much personally about the 411 on um things that i have been witnessing that are broken and then things that people have been funneling through me that are broken and have just been gone unaddressed for a long time right especially like the, the lower level leagues that don't have a lot of wish tubers that play it um but i can confidently say right that me being reached out to like you know in in pretty much private and asked like hey what have you heard what have you been experiencing and then based on what you say, we'll hop into the data. We'll take a look at these things. If they're problematic, then we may or may not make a change on it. Nothing is guaranteed is kind of huge. It's kind of huge because it takes away your ability like to say, oh, like the devs aren't listening here. Here they go again, like not listening to the players and not fixing things. You know what I mean? So I feel like this adds a new level of importance to voice things. Um, you know, especially in areas where, you know, there aren't a lot of people doing PvP that also make content and stuff like that. Um, but it also makes me feel like I'm up to bat. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to make 60 and 50 good, not that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Or at least bring awareness to what needs to be done to make these things good. And really quick, I just want to shoot a disclaimer, right? This isn't a situation where, you know, a whiz tuber like myself, you know, loses to like a card and then i'm like oh that's really cheap like i shouldn't have died to that hey yo rat beard this card's kind of broken nerf it like that's not the case at all and I, I feel like some people think that i feel like some people would genuinely think like oh austin the sauce died to this card he's gonna tell rat beard to nerf it and then my school is gonna become crap like that's not at all how it works like the data has to be there to show it for anything to happen right if you think that death is gonna be bad just because headless is pretty much i mean kind of but not confirmed you know to get nerfed you know off of one card your school becomes bad like like let's really think about that if your school becomes crap because you lose one card 
should you really have that card? You know what I mean? Especially when a lot of people are complaining about it. You know what I mean? Like, let's let's kind of use common sense. But I did give them a list of things that people have been complaining about. And I do think the data is there to warrant uh, nerfs and audits. And I think even if they touch upon half the things that I recommended, 60 and 50 could come back in a huge way. No crit, no block. Obviously, that's like, you know, like a, a given. Um, and a lot of the problems I, I addressed, right? That makes 60 and 50 kind of like, ugh, like, uh, I don't want to deal with those problems. I've addressed those. Um, another really big thing that I do want to talk about, right? Because I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty. I feel like it would be a little unprofessional if I showed the exact list of things that I gave, right? Because then people would be like, oh, look, such WizTuber said this, and then it got nerfed. They only listened to the WizTubers, and it's, it's not even like that. But the one thing that I do wanted to touch upon that I did bring uh, attention to, and they did, you know, uh, give, you know, verbal, like, okay, cool. Uh, thank you for bringing this up. I'll take it up with the other devs. Like, I'll make sure that this is known with the people who can actually do something about it, is the fact that I brought up the jewel situation. Currently, it is so hard to obtain pierce jewels and accuracy and power pip jewels at levels 50 and 60 for these two leagues. It is pretty much almost always a situation where you have to open up your wallet and start pack and start you know popping jewel packs jewel uh jewel and then even these are completely hit or miss um with accuracy and pierce which are pretty much the only thing you're opening these for like you'll get like some of the morganth multi-hit jewels and some flat res and some other you know garbage like mana jewels these are completely at, at, at 599 too a complete waste of time and money. Um, we have no thieves den. We have no, you know, back in the day, people used to farm like the white razors when Darkmoor came out for the pierce tools and stuff, right? We have none of that. We have none of that. We have to pop packs or get lucky while we're, you know, blasting through Celestia or Zafaria that we get at least one or two pierce tools. And even that is like extremely rare. And then, and then essentially you have to pop packs for the rest of your pierce jewels and accuracy. It's ridiculous, right? So I brought that up. They now know it. The dev that I brought that up to said he will bring it up to the other devs. Um, and if that problem gets fixed, if these drop rates actually do get buffed, that is something huge. That is a step in the right direction and will ultimately like extremely, uh, um, you know, increase the encouragement of people to actually try out these leagues now that they don't have to open their wallet uh, to, you know, play the meta. You know what I mean? So uh, I did want to bring that to light in this video. I do strongly think, uh, obviously, as you can tell, after having quested a myth and, you know, garnering all of the reagents that I need for its lore spells and stuff like that. And this is only like, you know, step one after the fixes that I do think are coming. Like I am w actually willing to delete some of uh, my, uh, the exalted schools that I don't think are, you know, are going to be that good. If exalted even does get fixed, I, I don't know. Um, and, and make legendaries in their place. That is how confident I am that legendary is going to come back in a huge way right? No crit, no block, no pierce problem, no gambit problem. It just makes sense. But that is going to be it for today's video. Please drop a like on this video if you have made it to the end. I would greatly appreciate it. More Wiz videos to come. Novus is literally like I'm calling like this upcoming week, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that kind of vibe, you know, we're on that wavelength. And um, I will catch you guys very, very soon.